Want to remove blocks to prosperity from your life? Do it with the best in the business. Catherine Ponder, a 30-minute meditation to help you open to prosperity. Go to HighTimelineBooks.com to get yours today. Well, we're there. (laughs) If you're hearing this, I got the cards in my pocket. I've been looking forward to this for so long. The Thomas Welcome to Medicare Month begins. Happy birthday also to our Robert Glasscock. He turns 80 today. No kidding. Still going completely strong. And let's see, what else happens this week? Oh, yeah, my good buddy who I produced a fishing television show with for... Oh, 15, 16 years of my life. He turns 89 on Thursday. So this is a big page turn as we begin October. We normally would take a look at the month ahead, but I want to give Elisa the entire time today because she has put some great information together about tomorrow's eclipse. This is an annular solar eclipse that will not be visible in the United States. It's only going to be basically in South America, and to see it of any kind of significance is going to be the very tip of South America is about all you got, unless you're out on a boat somewhere. But it is a partial, so the sun will not completely be darkened. Of course, it will be covered, I'm sure, by a number of YouTube channels. So if you want to watch it, go to timeanddate.com, and you can find out what time it is happening for you. East Coast time A peak is going to be somewhere around 10 till 3 p.m. tomorrow afternoon. So that would be like you could get on YouTube. Of course, the replays will be there as well. But you'll be feeling the energy from today on because the moon enters Libra tonight at 6.20 p.m. This is a new moon, so the sun and the moon are together, as you're going to hear, and that is what sets up the energy. Let's give the rest of the time today to our wonderful contributing astrologer, Elisa Dixon. Hi, Elisa. Hi, Thomas, and hello again to the Fun Astrology Podcast family. I'm so excited to talk to you today about tomorrow's solar eclipse in Libra. A solar eclipse is all about new beginnings and taking a first step towards something new. And this one is happening near the South Node, which is all about releasing and letting go of things that no longer serve us. And this is happening in Libra, which is a social sign, all about relationships and balance and harmony and fairness. And Libra is ruled by Venus, which also makes Venus the ruler of this eclipse. Venus is all about love and beauty and all the things that bring us joy and happiness. So... This eclipse is all about new beginnings in the way we partner with or relate to others, and it's all about leaving behind any old relationship patterns that no longer bring us joy and happiness. About a month ago, I talked about Venus coming to conjunct the South Node in Libra, which actually was a preview of what this eclipse is all about. If you remember, at the time, Venus and the South Node together were shining a spotlight on something that needed to go, something that needed to be released, something related to the themes of balance, harmony, or fairness in relationships. And at that time, maybe it was just a subtle nudge, something just coming into awareness for the first time. Well, since then, just in the last few days, actually, both the Sun and Mercury have also come to conjunct the South Node reinforcing whatever came up about a month ago when Venus first came to the South Node. And now, tomorrow, the Sun and the Moon are joining together here at the South Node in an eclipse. And this is the universe showing us that if we haven't already done so, now is the time to take action. Because this eclipse is about taking the first steps towards a new beginning in relationship dynamics. And there are a few other planets weighing in as well here to support this action. First, Mercury is in Libra conjunct the sun and the moon in this eclipse. Mercury conjunct the eclipse is providing the mental clarity of the situation and the ability to communicate what might need to be said. Second, Mars in Cancer is squaring the eclipse. Mars is the planet of action and assertiveness and bravery. Mars squaring the eclipse is providing the courage and the drive to take action towards this new beginning. And third, 
There is a grand trine in the sky with Mars in Cancer, Venus in Scorpio, and Saturn in Pisces. Now that's a lot, <laughs> but at the simplest level, Mars is action, Venus is love, and Saturn is discipline. In order to make lasting positive changes within relationships, you need all three of those energies, and they are flowing and supporting each other in this trine and therefore supporting us. And remember, with Venus ruling the eclipse, it's all about love, specifically in this case, self-love, because since the south node is in Libra, that means the north node is in Aries. Aries is the energy of self. Where Libra focuses on we, Aries focuses on me. What do I need? And as we let go of a relationship pattern that isn't working anymore, the growth and the new beginning in, is in that Aries energy. What do I need to be happy? What do I need in order to be able to give and receive love and friendship with others? That's really what this eclipse is all about. It's about new beginnings and the way we partner with or relate to others, but you can't truly love or partner with others until you love and take care of yourself first. So yes, this eclipse is about balance and harmony and fairness and new beginnings, but it's just as much about the importance of yourself in a relationship as the relationship itself. So here we are at a point of new beginnings. Trust the process. Trust the universe. Lean into that eclipse energy. Don't forget the best way around it is straight through it. Mars is on your side with that. Thanks again for listening and have a great day, everyone. Oh, and you too, Elisa. Thank you so much. You nailed that. That was exactly that's so perfect about these new beginnings of how we relate to each other. All right, we'll be back tomorrow with the big show, and then we have a lot of other things to talk about for the rest of the month of October, and we'll cover that in tomorrow's Fun Astrology. Thanks so much for listening. Have a great day. Bye-bye.